Three, two, one. And my foot was just like dangling. Oh, this you crazy mother. Yo! Hey, lady. You don't have OCD. You forgot your spaghetti. You have OBCD. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. I'm Ashley's Darwin. That should be my middle name. Amberlynn Hungry Reed. I don't know, I just feel so disconnected. She was like, you're healthy. But you are obese. Hello? Is anyone high? Hey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to spill tea, I'm here to answer your questions. Mm -hmm. um, Are you going to collab with Becky? Becky doesn't want to do it right now. I have talked a little bit to Becky, but not much. She does her own thing. Becky just wants to do her own thing. I know she wants to stay out of the spotlight. Do I watch Apathetic Facts? Yes. Did Amber ever hit you, throw stuff at you? I told y'all she threw the up. Code Red Mountain Dew at me, not at me, at my car. Did, no, she didn't know who Amberlynn was before she met me. I didn't know anything about YouTube or her YouTube. What do you think about all of this? It's very crazy and just too much for me. Ooh, they said you're an upgrade girl. Thank you. <laughs> Someone said, are you ready to be YouTube famous? Not really. Has Lexus ever been on the blue team? Oh my God. I think it's <laughs> Amber Lynn said when she was younger, she was on a soccer team. She said they didn't have a name, but they were just the blue team. Did I ever have to wipe Amber Lynn? No. It's a no. When Amber got out of the car, would it lift? No, it didn't lift. Y'all are the ones that are ruthless. Amber Lynn did not buy my car for me. My dad did. F you, Chris Griffin. My name is Chris Griffin. I don't know why y'all call me that. Do you ever replace the K-Cup cares? No, I told my mom she needed to though. <laughs> you should send Amberlynn cake pops. She'd get so offended. Laugh out loud. She'd get offended, but then eat. <laughs> what did you mean when you said Amber's butt was stinky? But clearly what it says. For the love of God and all things holy, she did stink. How about that? Um, I don't know what she smelled like. Surely. Y'all have been in a situation where you have been around a bigger person and could smell their swamp ass. I <laughs> I'm not describing it in detail. I don't know how. You guys are nasty. Me, what was your cringiest pookie experience? Um, I'd say watching her get her ass beat by my mom. <laughs> My mom did throw hands multiple times. Not necessarily with Amber Lynn. It was just the one time. Please don't describe the smell in detail. But how was that 20 piece nugget though? Ask her, she ate it, not me. Have you ever thought Amber was the one in white? No, and because no. <laughs> did the binge monster exist? Yes, I'll tell you that, yes. No, Amber Lynn is not allergic to eggs. Not that I, not, not when we were together, at least. Eggs. Yes, I get mad when people call me Dusty. I don't understand. What made you start telling all this stuff about Amber Lynn? It's just a healing process, y'all. Does Amber Lynn smell like a seafood boil? <laughs> Does ALR blaze up 420 style? I doubt it. What's the leaky leg story? Legs stuck in the bed? I don't know. Like... When me and her were together, she didn't have all of what's going on going on on her. How do you feel about Amberlynn following you and your ex around trying to get your attention after the breakup example, the teddy bear incident? Hey, Dana. Hey. hey. Becky. Hey, Becky. Hey, Becky. Hey, Becky. I bought that exact bear for for Dana last year. Oh, I know. You almost <laughs> said my name. Did you? It's like, she's like, for Dana. Why does she always do that? It was weird having Amber Lynn around a lot when I was trying to do stuff. Did she wear those leggings? She wore these pants from Walmart. She had like a hundred pairs of them. Did Amber Lynn snore? Yes. You told the Licky Lay story before you said you made the bed icky. I don't know. <laughs> no, she didn't really have a hundred pairs. I think she had like seven or eight though. She had one for every day of the week. 
I think I just saw someone say hey, the hey lady. <laughs> I can't even do that voice anymore. Hey lady. <laughs> Oh my god. You forgot your spaghetti. Did you ever tell her she stinks and did that mess with your attraction? I mean, she was showering pretty regularly when we were together, except for that time when I said that she didn't shower. Did she embarrass you often in a public house? So, I mean, it was kind of like, it was kind of embarrassing like when you like i'm embarrassed to even vlog myself but like when she would just start vlogging without forewarning you know it was a little embarrassing for her to ask something about there's like people around did amberlynn feed you lines for some of the videos <clears throat> no everything that i have said has come from me to read why do you get engaged to everyone you date if you don't remember <laughs> i did not get engaged to amberlynn and i oh <laughs> Do you think Amber Lynn is a truly a lesbian? No. I did see some of what Becky said about Amber Lynn, like, I guess having attractions to men, and I noticed that she's been with guys before. Does Amber Lynn use money to control people or situations? Yes, she does. Amber Lynn likes to pay for things for you or give you money randomly and then hold it over your head later. I didn't, I don't know why I stopped talking to Amberlynn. We just kind of had a falling out. I don't know if Amberlynn faked her accent. She has multiple accents. She is a control freak. I, this is a public apology for using the N word. I am sorry. It is not my word. Do you notice all of Amber's personalities? She does have multiple personalities. She's cray cray. I did call her money bags because she likes to throw it in your face, and then hold it over your head. I don't know. I doubt she gets the surgery, honestly. I don't think Amberlynn's going to get the weight loss surgery. I think she's too much of a wiener. Amberlynn washed her hair a couple times a week. I don't really know. I did not ever have to wipe Amberlynn. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was us breaking up, whatever happened, but Amberlynn went very downhill after me and her broke up, and I didn't deal with any of what Becky had to deal with. Do you ever think she'll be skinny? No. I do still talk to Becky. Maybe next time we go live, I'll call Becky. Me and Becky did talk about our experiences a lot when they were together, even. We and her would get to doing something, like we would be sent out to do stuff together. I don't know. Like me and her had some alone time and we would definitely talk about stuff. That's for sure. How do you feel about her drunk live stream after y'all's breakup? That was annoying. How do you feel about Dana being pregnant? Kudos to her, man. I don't know. I'm not going to say any more about it. I did see Amberlynn's legs. Ooh. I'm sure Amberlynn is in this chat or her boo thing. Apath apathetic facts is in the chat. What up, homie? Hey, lady. <laughs> you forgot your spaghetti. <laughs> Amber might sue you for detriment. Go for it, homie. Did your mom want you to break up with Carter. her? My mom did want me to do that a couple times. Me and her talked about it. Come yeah. here, Carter. I'm glad you finally are sharing your story. It never sat right with me. I'm glad I'm sharing it, too. Amberlynn did smell. Oh for my, my goodness, like, yes. Are you okay with all this talk about my ex? Um, to be honest, I don't really care that she talks about her ex. I mean, have you she's ever healing. personally talked to Jade? No. Yes, Amberlynn really did make me sleep in the bed with her after we broke up. Hey, I've been a hater for years. Now it's awesome to see you see you upgrade seriously, Lexus. You're a beauty. Thank you. Do I think Amberlynn is a bad person? I think she tries to be a good person, but her selfishness and attitude kind of gets in the way. Listen, I don't know a whole lot about the person that Amberlynn is with now, but I will tell y'all one thing. I was going to wait for a video for this. This is all I know. It has not been two people she has dated that's been the same person. Girl, we know. <laughs> and I got that from a good source. Someone asked if Amberlynn and my mom got close after we broke up. Not initially right after we broke up, 
but my mom did go and see her and do stuff with her occasionally. And my mom just tried to be there for her because she didn't have anybody, essentially. Was Amber really as horrible to Becky as the reaction channel say? I don't know what happened behind closed doors with her, but when her and Becky would be bickering, I would take Becky's side and it would make Amber Lynn mad, but I didn't care because I've been in Becky's position myself. Yes, free Becky. I'd say Becky is happier without Amber Lynn, honestly. I wish Becky would collab, but she is doing her own thing right now. I'm sure she is taking her time to heal. Karina Kaboom! Tell us <laughs> why your girlfriend is a better partner than your exes. She is the best person I've probably ever been with. That's mostly because I guess I was attracted to a lot of controlling people. Not that Dana was controlling, but she has a lot better things going for her than Dana did. Why doesn't Amber learn to drive? I really don't see how she could drive. Damn. Physically, I don't. Damn! Yikes on bikes. Are you and Amber Lynn working together by making videos? No. Amber Lynn did not know I was about to do that. She didn't know until probably I posted a video. I could give a crap less if she approves of these videos or not. I really don't care. No, I never corrected Amber Lynn's grammar because it would just start some crap with her. What is the you forgot your spaghetti from? It, it was in a vlog of Amber <laughs> Lynn's and Apathetic Facts uses it in their intro. And I really don't know why I said it. I don't know where it came from, but it is funny. I'm happy you don't have to deal with the stink. Okay, thank you. Stank tank. What reaction channels do you watch? I watch Karina Kaboom and Apathetic Facts. 